wife Alice and my daughters Maddie and Morgan. For my day job, I'm an industrial engineer, but as a sideline, I operate a business called TLC Tugger, which helps men restore their foreskins. Which helps men restore their foreskins. I started realizing uh, when I was maybe 35, back in the 90s, that intimacy seemed to be getting better and better for my wife, and for me that was not true, it was getting duller and duller. In 2001, I found out basically that circumcision removes over half of a male's sensual nerve endings, and it takes away an important uh, mechanical function for intercourse, which is the rolling and gliding of the skin tube and I realized that that's, that's what I was missing. I started restoring my own foreskin in 2001 using methods that were available then, including tape, daily application of tape to oneself, and it didn't take me long to get tired of that, so I started looking around for better methods, and I basically adapted some techniques that I found out about online and created a, an efficient way of reproducing devices and I got so good at it that I thought I could offer it to other guys and give them a superior method and within a couple of years I was selling them on eBay and then I got my own website and my wife had to start helping because it was taking so much of our time. silicone called Celastic and it has to be cured in an oven so I have a 200 degree, 200 degree bench oven and various uh, components that I prepare in advance. The, the, the goo, the silicone has to be degassed uh, before you can use it and so I have a vacuum pump and a vacuum chamber that that happens in and uh, basically to make these things take some molds, I put the mold on the scale, set it to zero, and I add some silicone fresh out of the freezer, and I place this insert into the mold, and that's ready to go back in the oven. 200 degrees for 20 minutes. So the mold comes apart really easily because the silicone doesn't stick to this plastic. I just twist and peel the product out of there and there it comes. This is the TLC tugger piece, and with this, one would place the glands in this concave portion and then roll the shaft skin up onto the body of the tugger, take the your skin cone, pop it on, and it retains the skin in between the inner and outer piece. When you tug on it with a strap, it's held tight, and that's basically what I look like during the day at my nine to five job. I wear loose pants, and no one is the wiser that I'm, I'm tugging on my foreskin. Once in a while I have occasion to inform another person in my, in my personal circle uh, about what I do and I just have to be as perfectly frank about it as I can be. I, I have no shame or embarrassment about this. The only person who's got anything to be embarrassed about is the person who would cut you know, part of somebody's genitals.
So TLC Tugger uh, really took off because of word of mouth. But in this internet age, that's really because of online chatter. Uh, I, I would sell a device to somebody on eBay and I'd have these listings and I'd go to the online user groups where foreskin restoration is discussed and I'd say hey I've been selling these devices and some people are pretty happy with them so if you want one just let me know I'll make you one too and it's it's really anybody who's looking for help with uh, sensitivity male sensitivity or if they're curious about circumcision or the foreskin they'll find me pretty quick but it's it's really online uh, it's not something that people are uh, talking about on the street or at the water cooler. It's, it's an, an online phenomenon. When I first started using foreskin restoration techniques, it involved tape. There will be times when your family members might see you with tape on and have a question, so it's, it's very hard to keep it secret. Um, so I told my kids all about it. Uh, from an early age, I guess in 2001, uh, my youngest daughter was seven. And I said, you know, there, there used to be a common procedure where they would cut off part of a boy's penis, and now they know that it's not a good idea. But it happened to me, and what I'm doing is going to reverse that. And she said, oh, gee, Dad, if they ever do that to my baby, I'll be sure and hold it while they're cutting. And I said, no, you don't understand. You're not going to let it happen to your baby. But, but the kids perfectly well understand. We've always been very frank with them about anything, you know, there's nothing about the human anatomy that embarrasses us, so we can talk about these sorts of things. I really feel that um, so many people don't know that I have this sideline, that it, it, it obviously uh, speaks to the fact that I'm just a, an ordinary guy who happens to have this uh, passion to help people and to change the world for the better. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a family guy, married two kids, got a job as an engineer, you know, two cars and a dog in the house. And uh, the fact that I, I happen to have discovered uh, what it is about circumcision that makes it so wrong, and the fact that I've decided to make it such an important part of my life is just another part of me. It doesn't, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm a, a weirdo or in any, in any way an extremist, aside from the fact that I do believe that circumcision should be outlawed in the United States and everywhere.